Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create cartoon stories in Video Express 2.0, which is a fun generative AI video creation app. First, we need to create a story, image prompts, and the voiceover. You can use ChatGPT or Microsoft Copilot to do so. And I'm going to be using Microsoft Copilot. So I gave it a title, Page Turner. Uh, the characters it will be an old library book and a curious child. And lastly, a brief description of the plot. So Copilot generated a story with five scenes, as I mentioned, and the image prompts, as well as the voiceover narration script, as you can see right here. I also asked Copilot to generate a detailed character profile for the curious child named Ellie, as you can see here. I then created the character Ellie in 3D Pixar style, as well as the old library book using an AI image generation tool called Artisly. And you'll find the link to the tutorial at the end of this video. So now that we have the story, characters, the image prompts, and the narration script, let's head to Video Express to create a story. I'll start by clicking the Media Library icon in the right side toolbar. And from this pop-up panel, I'll click on the Images folder. As you can see, I've uploaded the character Ellie. And in a moment, I'll show you how to upload images here. So now I'll click on Create with AI in the right side toolbar. And from this pop-up panel, I'll choose Consistent Character. You'll see the style box pop-up. You can choose Landscape or Vertical. I'll leave it at the default landscape. And in this image scene prompt box, I'll copy and paste the first image prompt that I generated using Microsoft Copilot, which I showed you earlier. I'll uncheck this box, and then I'll click on Reference Photo. Next, I'll click on the Images folder, and then I'll click on Upload File, and then Add Files. I'll navigate to my folder. I'll choose my image and then click Open. And then I'll click on Upload Files. It'll start uploading it. And then you can close this dialog box. So here is the image. So I'll select it and then click Choose. Next, I'll use this drop down. And from these options, I'll choose 2D and then click on Create Image. It will then start creating the image for the first scene of the story. So just give it a few seconds. So here is the generated image. And if you're not happy with it, you can click the Create Image button again to regenerate it. Next, I'll select this prompt and copy it using Control C and then paste it into this box for the video action prompt. I'll check this box for video length booster, so the video clip will be eight seconds long. Finally, I'll click on Create Video. It will then start generating the video clip for the first scene of the story. You'll get a notification down below saying that the video will appear in the media library once it's completed. Next, I'll clear both these prompt boxes so I can start working on the next scene. I'll enter my next image prompt into this box, and then I'll click on this Reference Photo 2 button. I'll go to the Images folder. I'll select Ellie, and then click Choose. So here is the image. I'll scroll down and then click on Create Image. And it will then start generating the image. And here is the second image that it generated for the second scene. I'll hover my mouse over the image and then click Save to save this image. And then copy this image prompt and paste it into the Video Action Prompt box. I'll scroll down and then click on Create Video. So using the same process, I went ahead and created the images and video clips for all the five scenes. 
And you'll also notice that I created a title scene as well. Now let's head back to Video Express and I'll click on Media Library in the right side toolbar and then go to My AI Videos. And here are all of the video clips for the scenes. I'll then drag and drop all of the video clips one by one into the video editor timeline below, like so. Next, I'll click on Import Media in the right side toolbar. And from this panel, I'll click on Text to Speech to create the voiceover narration. It'll bring me to this section. I'll use this drop down. And from these options, I'll scroll down and choose this as my voiceover. Next, I'll enter my voice over script into this box and click on Import Speech. It will then start generating the voiceover text to speech narration based on the script I provided. Typically, it just takes a few seconds, but it'll depend on the length of your text to speech script. And once it's completed, you can use this play button to preview the voiceover. Next, I'll click on Media Library and then go to My AI Audio. I'll click this button to add another track to the timeline and then drag the audio that we just generated to the track in the timeline below, like so. You can then adjust the audio or add more scenes if the voiceover audio is a little longer. So I went ahead and adjusted the audio to fit the video scenes as you can see. You can also add background music if you want to by going to the audio tab at the top and then click on the music folder. And here you'll find a variety of background music. And here is how the short story video came out. In a library stitched from silence and shadow, an old book named Turner sat untouched, forgotten beneath newer volumes and glowing screens. Turner waited not for glory, but for a reader who still believed in wonder. Ellie wasn't searching for magic, only a quiet place to sit. But her fingers found Turner, tucked away like a secret. She opened the cover, and the air seemed to hum. The stories inside stirred for the first time in years. With each page Ellie turned, the library transformed. She wasn't just reading the book, she was becoming its hero. The world hadn't stopped loving stories, only forgotten where to find them. Turner had never been irrelevant. He had only been waiting. Thanks to Ellie, the pages turn once more. If you'd like to get Video Express for a one-time discounted price, check the link in the description section. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.